Nothing between my soul and my Savior. Oh, yeah. Not in this world. The Lord Oh, of sinful pleasure. Jesus is mine. Let nothing between. Oh, nothing between my soul and my sin. Ah. Oh. The least of his favor. Let nothing between. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. May the Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face shine upon him and be gracious unto him. May the Lord lift his countenance upon him and grant him peace. The Lord be with you. Let us we entrust Benga to your merciful keeping. In the faith of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who died and rose again to save us, and is now alive and raised with you and the Holy Spirit. In glory. The man that is commissioned by the enemy to follow you has not left you. He still believes he will catch up with you. And to be candid with you, I will not deceive you. It doesn't matter what a man becomes in this world. If he could never get to heaven, he has wasted his life. <laughs> Please, can you tell your neighbor for me? Say, me, I am going somewhere. I don't want to lose consciousness of that. Because even if I spend 150 years in this world, it will still finish. 150 will finish. Why? Because you will not be here forever. It's good to die at a young age and go to heaven than to die as a head one and still go to hellfire. <laughs> It will, it will strengthen us here. It will make us know the reality of heaven. Just bless the name of the Lord. Brother, this conviction. I have been praying to God if something will happen to me and I will make men or my family to begin to carry me eh, from one hospital to the other, from one place to the other, wasted their money. Then eventually I die. I said, Lord, don't let it come. Instead for me to waste full resources, let me die before that time. But the truth of the matter is that he did not leave me without a passing way. Since I knew him 32 years ago, what was paramount in his heart was the kingdom of God. 
and all the years that we courted and spent together as couples, every day by day, he spoke about everyone to us as members of the family. Anybody can like to disconnect you, refuse to be disconnected. Women may like to disconnect you. Men may like to disconnect you. People will like to disconnect you. Don't be disconnected. Number one thing that disconnects a man from God is sin. It's a serious disconnector. You know, they don't, people don't like to hear this again. But me, I don't have any other message. Because my greatest joy is that you will get to heaven. You see, me, I'm going to heaven, though. Please, can you please ask your neighbor for me, are you still going to heaven or you have resigned?